Literally no one asked me to vlog, so I decided to do it all month long. You'll see me live my life every day of March, so get ready to be bored, cause this is Vlarch. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Something horrible has just happened. I am looking for rocks and I'm on a big pile of rocks. It's actually a hill of rocks and I slipped. I fell very hard and my bracelet snapped and broke. And all of the beads except for these fell inside of this like huge mountain of rocks. I will never find them. These are big rocks. Oh my God, I can't believe that just happened. It's sad because it took me months to make that bracelet and I worked really hard on it. But I'm giving the beads back to where I found them. You know, I found them on the beach. Now it's a treasure for someone else to find. Someone else is gonna find those rocks. Perfectly polished little beads and maybe they'll find them in a hundred years if our earth is still here. They are gone. I don't see one. I don't see a single one because they've fallen through all the holding cracks. And this is like probably three feet deep of rocks. I cannot believe that just happened. Wow, that's sad, but it's okay. Oh my God, I can't believe that just happened. I'd rather have it at the beach than anywhere else, I guess. Like I said, now the beach can have it back. But I'm still a little sad. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Saturday morning. I'm still very sad about my bracelet yesterday, but it is what it is. Flynn and I were talking about how St. Patrick's Day is coming up soon, and he remembered I made this leprechaun trap. He wants to make it even better. What are you working on? The part where it gets trapped. Oh, so that square is gonna go on this? Yes. It's looking good, Flynn. Can you tell you something really sad that happened to me? Yeah. Yesterday when I was at the beach, I'm on a huge pile of rocks. Yeah. I landed on my bracelet that I made and it broke. Aww. All the beads I made went <laughs> down inside the pile of rocks. I couldn't find them. Oh, that's so sad. Um, I like the bracelet too. Nah, I'm pretty sad about it. Aww. But don't worry, we should make another one. Okay. But it might take me. You know what else I was thinking? What? I'm also a little bit happy because now maybe like a little boy or a little girl or another mommy who likes bracelets, maybe they'll find the beads and they'll be really happy. What do you think of that? Wow, that's amazing. Okay, I'm finally finished. Look at that. I think we need like two pieces of tape. Okay. We're making golden coins right now to test out the leprechaun trap to see if it works. Okay. Look at that beauty queen. All right, let's test her out. We've got a coin on top of the thing. We're gonna use thing. this? Yes, yeah, a tester. And this is gonna be our pretend leprechaun just for today. We have to build a ladder. So right now we're just gonna use this light on a tripod for a ladder, but we'll make a real one, okay? So the leprechaun will go, I'm gonna get the gold. Do, 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 do. <gasps> There's gold up there. Yes, ah! <laughs> and it'll fall right in there. Yep, perfect. We're going on an adventure. do like a montage of all the rocks that I find and I put it to like some classical music but that's kind of what I've been doing basically every single day so today I'm trying something a little bit different I'm gonna actually vlog while I'm here and see if you guys like that better and you can tell me what you prefer if you prefer when I'm actually vlogging or oh that's pretty look at this oh my god it's awesome what did you find oh my gosh marble I want fun to get it give me that marble what what'd you find oh let me oh, see that like guy clear blue Ready? What a marble! Good find, dude. I'm having a problem that I usually don't have. I have to be extremely picky with, with which rocks I'm taking home because there are so many good ones today. I'm in heaven. Oh, look at the piece Eric just found. I heard you gasp. I was like, he found something good. An awesome, cool pot nerd. This one has so many colors in it. I don't know if you can tell. My bag is heavy and it was a long walk to get here. <gasps> An agate. Oh, look at this agate, guys. What you got? <gasps> oh my gosh, a beautiful red piece. I just smashed open a rock, look. Funny, look it. Do you like it? <sighs> mm. 
at this particular beach that we're at, there's way more rocks up on the shore than there is out in the water. And a lot of rocks, it's hard to tell if they're pretty rocks or good rocks or worth tumbling unless they're wet. When they're dry, they just look like dry, kind of ugly rocks. So part of my process at beaches like this is I look and I find rocks that I think might be pretty once they're tumbled. So I gather a bunch until I can't hold anymore and then I take them to the water, get them wet and see what they look like and decide which ones I want to take home. Time to check out a couple of the rocks that I found. So this one, oh, it's almost cool. Not quite cool enough, so she's going away. This one is so weird. It's like a big black rock, but attached to it is like Jasper, red and yellow Jasper. Worth taking home, unsure. <gasps> I'm gonna give you guys a close up of this one later. It's bright red striped Jasper question mark. I don't know, but it's really cool. This one is incredible. It's a huge agate. I'll show you this close up later too. Oh my gosh. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. My God, I was just collecting shells to show you how many shells there are. There's like a billion of these all over this beach. I just found the biggest agate hunk I've ever found in my life. I am, I, I haven't even touched it yet. I haven't picked it. I'm gonna, I'm so excited. Hold on. So here's the shells I was collecting, but look at this. Oh my God. This side looks like quartzite or something, but that is all agate right there. Oh my God. I'm so confused by this rock, but it is so cool. Oh my God, this is so exciting. I don't even understand what this is, but I love it so much. This is totally agate right here. Oh my God. Anyway, look at how many shells there are. This is crazy. So these are the four I just collected, but watch. Oh, here's another one right here. So I found those and then I found the agate, which distracted me, but I'm just gonna walk around and see how many I can pick up in a short amount of time. They're everywhere, watch this. Leaving the seashells behind, this beach is covered in shells. That means all the little sea slugs and sea creatures are probably super happy. They have lots of homes to choose from. Why well, have so many rocks to choose from at this incredible beach? It's so hard to choose. My bag is extremely heavy. This rock is kind of cool. We're on the walk back now. I'm only gonna pick up rocks that I think are incredibly awesome, blow my mind, and sea glass if I find any, because I haven't found any sea glass because I've only been thinking about rocks. Let's go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the next day of my life. It is now Sunday. Eric and I are about to do the podcast, so I'm trying to set everything up for that. But I just walked into this podcast room of ours, and it freaking stinks. It smells like tar. Anyway, I'm just sitting here for the podcast, but I was talking to myself in my head because I hear my voice in my head, which is a big controversy, apparently. Because I guess there's a lot of people who don't hear any voice in their head, which blows my mind. Eric doesn't hear a voice in his head, and he's always just like, yeah, it's just thoughts. Like, I just have thoughts. I'm like, but how do you hear your thoughts if there's no voice saying your thoughts? He's like, I don't know. I just have the thoughts. They're just there. And I'm like, but what does that mean? How do you not know it? How do you know what they're saying? You just, uh, they just exist, but I don't understand. Like, it really doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, in my head, I was like, oh, it's time to get ready for the podcast. I started singing this song. It's time to say hello. And then I was like, oh my God, what was that girl's name? Cause there's a little girl who was like an opera singer when I was a little girl and I loved her and I used to imitate her all the time. I think her name was Charlotte something. I don't know, but she sang the song, Time to Say Hello or something like that. And whenever I say in my head or to another person, like oh, it's time to go, it's time to say bye, it's time to say hello. I think of that song, but I can't even remember any more of it. I'm gonna look it up because now it's bothering me. What's that freaking girl's name? <gasps> oh my God, we haven't even talked. Okay, we haven't even talked about Ariana's new album. We haven't even spoken spoken about it and I don't know that I can. I don't know that I am emotionally ready to talk about Ariana's new album. It is so good. It is so unbelievable. Anyway, okay, what was I doing? What was that freaking girl's name? I think it was Charlotte. Charlotte Church. Oh my gosh. Wait, I think I'm finding it. Oh, I'm so excited. I found it. It's called Just Wave Hello. And it's by Charlotte Church. Okay, oh my god. I forgot about this song. <laughs> This is what I listen to as 
as a kid, you guys. I was like 10. It's time to go now. Does anyone else know Charlotte Church? Like, did anyone else listen to this when they were 12? <laughs> We're gonna try painting some seashells. We love watercoloring seashells because you can just wash it off and redo it over and over again. But I have a bucket of shells that we've collected over time, ones with holes in them and broken pieces. But they're fun to paint with watercolors because then you can just wash it off and redo it another time. So which one do you want, Mason? Which one do you pick? I like the different. Okay, go ahead. Pretty. I'm gonna do purple. Oh, Maisie, that's beautiful. Why is he so pretty? You're gonna put blue on it? <gasps> pretty. Look at water, Mama. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Oh, look. Wow, Maisie, that's gorgeous. Look it. <gasps> that's so pretty. See how fun is that? It's a little broken shell that I took home and we just watercolor it and it just washes right off. And they're ready to paint again. Wow, Maisie, that's so pretty. Let's finish. Okay. Wesley, that's so pretty, Wesley. What color are you gonna do? Ooh. By the way, please excuse the mess that it is back here. I know there's like trash bags that need to be taken out. We're excusing that. What's Gus doing? Is Gus out here? What's Gus doing out here? Did you find Gus? Gus is hanging outside with us, getting some sunshine while we paint. Maisie is into it. Wesley gave up, but Maisie's into it. Hi, Gus. You want to help us? Maisie's still painting over there. But here's the finished product so far. Aren't they pretty? Hello, everyone. It's much later, and now it is time for Tortilla Talk with Colleen. It's the part of the video where where I read your comments and questions and respond whilst covered in my wonderful tortilla blanket. And I just wanna take a minute to give a huge shout out and a thank you to my favorite person in the world uh, that goes by the name of Miss Daylight Saving. Uh, you are uh, actually the worst is what I meant to say, you're the worst. So I'm using this microphone because we just got the kids to sleep and it was really hard to do. And if you're a parent, you might understand how daylight saving time, like whenever you have to change the clocks, if you have kids, it's just the worst. So um, I'm needing to be more quiet. So I'm using a microphone so that I can talk more softly. So I hope you don't mind my little microphone puff as I answer some of your questions. This comment was a little upsetting and I feel really bad for you, but it's from Gretchen and Gretchen said my friends used to have a display table Just like that like my coffee table full of rocks They asked me what I thought one of the rocks were inside of it So being me the complete dork that I am and to my friends horror I proceeded to bite down on one of the rocks when they screamed out. That's my gallstone Needless to say I'm a bit triggered by that coffee table coin uh, That is a terrifying horrible story and I'm so sorry that happened to you. Is that true? Is that a real story? That's wild if that's a real story. Also, why do people bite down on rocks? I've never known that, but I hear about that all the time. Hold on. Okay, I literally can't find anything. Why do people bite down on rocks? I've never understood that, but I've heard of that like being a thing. But like, why would you bite down on a rock. Anyway, can someone explain that to me? Because I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Lola, and I got a lot of comments similar to this, but Lola said, I wish so badly I lived by beaches like you so I could go rock hunting. But unfortunately, where I live, the only rocks I could find are backyard rocks. And I wanted to address this because most people who rock hunt don't live by beaches. You can actually rock hunt pretty much anywhere. Most rock hounds and rock hunters like creeks. And I'm actually super jealous of people who live like in the South. And there's a few places in the country especially oh my gosh lake michigan i'm so jealous people live by lake michigan creeks typically have like the best rocks and there's a lot of places where there's like lots of geodes all you gotta do like i'll pick a random place i don't know where you're from lola but let's say you live in kansas city I don't know. I'm just making something up. Okay, hello. Look, all I did was I searched Kansas City, Missouri rock hounding locations. And I found a Reddit page that like someone asking where's a good place to go. And there's people responding saying many of the creeks in the area have fossils. Someone said, I went to the firefighters memorial this evening and there were lots of small fossilized shells. I even found two geode shells, which was super cool. So, and that was just a random first city that popped in my head. So I'll pick another one. Like um, Boise, Idaho. Okay, Idaho. Boise, Idaho rock hounding location an Idaho rock hounding map popped up and there's like tons of locations on this map that show different places where you can rock hound what kind of rocks you can find there etc so just google like whatever city you live in and rock hounding locations and like things will come up and it'll tell you what kind of rocks you can find
find there. So strongly recommend that. You can also do that with geodes, but then you have to know what to look for. And so, I don't know. Anyway, you don't have to be by, by a beach is what I'm trying to say. Carbon Dated said, the two of you are so sweet. Your love is precious. That's in reference to Eric and I geeking out over um, sea glass in the last vlog. I love that as artists in the film industry, you are dreaming of being on the cover of Beachcomber magazine and not Vogue. You are both so genuine and real. I just have to say, uh, I've never been on, obviously, the cover of Vogue or in Vogue, but I have been on the cover of Variety magazine. And that's the only cover I've ever been on, as far as I know. That was very exciting and that was overwhelming and I did not feel deserving at all and I couldn't believe it was happening. But I just gotta say, I think I might celebrate harder and louder and be more excited if we got the cover of Beachcomber Magazine. Where did it go? He literally just brought in the Beachcomber Magazine. Oh, here it is. Check it out, Beachcombing Magazine. Hello, imagine me holding a beautiful sea glass that I've found, but it would just be my hands, which no one wants to see that. We'd have to hire a hand model, so it wouldn't be me on the cover. It would just be um, something that I found on the cover. Eric also got a beachcomber calendar. So we already have passed by January and February. So let's see what those months were, okay? Oh, starting off strong. The January photo is Gorgina, a little rainbow of sea glass, like hello. That is so pleasing to look at. Okay, this makes sense. It's a heart for February. You know what? I feel like I've found sea glass that's a better heart shape than this. I'm not gonna lie, but that's the heart in front of a sunset. Cute. Okay, let's see what the March one is. This is March. Oh, it's sand dollars. That's very cute. Always Jello said, can you please link the starry nightlight? So in my last vlog, I used this like galaxy star nightlight thing. Uh, this person said, it looks really cool. Can you make it affiliate link? Because I think people who influence me should get credit for it. I don't really know how to do that. I will try to put like a link somewhere, but I don't know that I've ever successfully done that. So I'll see what I can do, but I don't know if, regardless, hopefully I remember to put the link in my bio. It might be an affiliate link. It might not be. If I can figure it out, it will be, but if not, it's just going to be a link. If I I probably will forget to do that, to be honest. Cole Cook said, hey, Colleen, have you listened to Eternal Sunshine? I absolutely love it. Have I listened to it? Have I listened to it? I've devoured it. It is incredible. Anyway, thanks for watching my weekend, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. And I'm really sad about the bracelet. <laughs> but it is what it is and hopefully I can make a new one. Maybe Eric and I can take another trip up to Moonstone Beach and I can collect a bunch of little pretty Moonstone pebbles again to make another bracelet. <laughs> I'm so sad. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, don't forget, please leave Tortilla Talk questions for me tomorrow because it's Tortilla Talk Tuesday and that means I'm going to do a big old Tortilla Talk for you. So make sure to leave lots of questions below today for me. Pretty, pretty please. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye.